Well, we came back to the camp and we had uh, some awesome lunch, relaxed a little bit, and the uh, sun is still up. So we're gonna go explore the meadow itself by the lake. And there's uh, some crazy history from uh, 100 plus years ago. So we're gonna go check out the dam that is uh, way on that side and uh, see what kind of history is out there. And we'll just tell you some about, some thing that we learned about it. So on this whole valley over here used to be a town. All these little bushes here used to be houses back in the 1860s. There's no evidence left since then except just uh, cleared out areas and a road. The campground took over most of the place where the houses were built on the shore of Meadow Lake and people had to live through 20 to 30 feet of snow on uh, some of the brutal winters that they had up here. It's kind of unbelievable that a lot of people used to live in this valley. They say four to five thousand people and then in a few years when the gold didn't yield what they expected thousands have left and left only about 150 or 60 people here and everything else was abandoned and the brutal winters just destroyed all the structures that were out here but yeah all this valley used to be a town there's a message board up there we're gonna pull up to it so you guys can read it Yep, so now it's just the beginning of the trail for, or actually beginning and, or end for, for a trail called Fordyce, which is one of the toughest trails in Northern California. All right, we made it to the site where they built a dam 900 feet wide by using the local stones. And uh, we'll get closer to the wall and on top of it, it's pretty cool. It's unlike anything else that they built out here. It was built in early uh, 1860s, so very long time ago. And again, I got Michael on my neck. He got his prime seat whenever we go on the little hikes. Look at all this wall. Made out of local granite rocks. Look at all this. Look at all this. Couldn't tell that it's a dam. Looks like a wall. Looks like a medieval wall built out here. Let's get on top of it. Here we are on top of the dam. And uh, it's pretty cool. 
it's a little zigzag shape but that's how they built it back in the 1860s crazy Water is clear. Look at it. Wow. Woo! Look at this drop here. We got the little spillway right there, and the valve fort is right here. So, yeah, they opened the valve so the water can drain out so this water in this lake won't become stale. Let's go over to a spillway because it looks like the water is high enough for the spillway. So far it's pretty cool. And we're camping right about here. Oh, look at that piece of board in there. All right, so here's the old spillway that was built a long time ago. And it was made out of stones, just like anything else. Look at that, that's a spillway from the lake. And this keeps going down to Fort Ice Lake. There's the lake down below here. But yeah, barely enough water to run the spillway. It's nice that we have so much water. So we explored the dam, checked out the wall. It's pretty cool. We're gonna go back to camp, relax, and we'll uh, catch up to you guys tomorrow morning and go explore a little more before we pack up and head back out. We just like to go out and camp and enjoy some of the cool places out here. Good morning. It's another beautiful morning out here. Today it's very windy. We're getting uh, probably like a 15, 12, 15 mile an hour wind. The waves are crazy. So none of these uh, watercrafts are usable because paddling against the wind is really tough. So we're gonna start our breakfast this morning and uh, slowly start packing up. And we got a cool vehicle to check out and we'll do a full walk around in the next video. So I'll show you a pretty cool rig that a lot of you probably will like. And uh, the guy will explain everything he did to it and how he did it. All right, let's go see what the kitchen is doing. Good morning, girls. Good morning. So please tell me, what is the procedure of you guys cooking some of the best breakfast we get out here in, in the wilderness? Shikata makes the scrambled eggs. I'm always on a baking duty. Well, how do you know who wants what? We ask them. So we have custom orders for breakfast here, huh? Morning, Michael. You waiting for your breakfast? Here, I'm making you some eggs. So, some milk, seasonings, oh, would you put pepper in there? Do you want pepper? Yeah, a little bit. See, we have first come, first serve bases here. So whoever wakes up first gets the, gets the food first. She has a fridge out here. Yes, it's finally working without any issues. After we installed a huge battery. Yep, so nice. You can trust it now. And then we have a bunch of greens. These are growing in my mom's yard. So homemade greens. I used to have chickens, but we got rid of them because they destroyed my backyard. So now we just buy eggs like anybody else. But yeah, Meadow Lake is a lot 
cooler and windier than I'd expected compared to the other um, lake we camped at, Sawmill Lake, was much calmer in the mornings and the uh, water was a lot warmer out here. It's, the snow just melted. We, when we drove around yesterday, we still saw some snow here and there. Not a lot, but it's there. All right, let's go eat our breakfast and start packing up slowly. All right, breakfast is over and uh, we are slowly starting to pack up. A lot of people are leaving already from the Fordyce area. We're just enjoying the view. It's a little breezy, but it's totally fine for us. It's not cold. It's like 65, 70 degrees right now. Well, to be, yeah, 70 degrees exactly. But uh, to get to Meadow Lake, you need uh, crazy built vehicles because there's two ways to go in here. We came in through Bowman Lake Road and we're gonna get out through Highway 89 through Truckee. And uh, the way from uh, Hannes Pass and uh, from the Truckee side is pretty easy. A lot of people bring their uh, RVs and fifth wheels down this way because the road is nice and smooth. And uh, any kind of vehicle can get out here. Even some Subarus that we saw are out here. But today we have our Dodge Ram out here. It's no longer on 37s. It's on uh, 34s, which are not bad for what he's doing. They're pretty good. And that's uh, basically his overlander. But then we have Angry Camper out here. And uh, he has a nice Tundra with a crazy setup. And we're going to do a full walk around of it here shortly. You'll see it in the next video. And this thing is pretty cool. I called it over glamper, but uh, for long distance travel, it's a really nice rig. It's set up pretty good, but he's learning that if he wants to venture out a little deeper, he needs to do some more upgrades. And then we have Alex on the Forerunner. He hasn't been out in a while because he's been busy. Work, work, work. You guys seen this thing capable of going through very hard trails in our area of course we have my jeep and the mini my jeep we have tanya's jeep out here full-blown kitchen setup already packed away for today and of course the little green jeep that can go places that the white jeep can go on 35s Locked and loaded. Eh, some damage from previous trips, but you can't be mad at the $100 uh, Amazon special fender flares. But we seen some mud yesterday. And we made it, even though this one uh, hopped a little bit of water. And the problem was, is it used to have a snorkel, so it has the pickup tube right there, which I need to fix that, because any big splash and it getting water inside of it all right well we're gonna pack up and start heading out and uh, we'll see what other trails we'll find along the way we'll venture out a little bit and uh, we'll take you along campsite is pretty much clean we are all packing up we left some fire for the next group out here and uh, somebody been cleaning it and dumping it here we dumped it there farther away so less dust of uh charcoal so and the uh, fire pit is completely drained with water everything is super cold and wet so no ambers here all right so we're gonna go out the way to a highway 89 to Truckee, and we might stop at the weber waterfall if there will be parking because we have a big group if we won't be able to get parking then uh, we won't uh, stop and explore it so we'll just uh, drive out and look at the awesome scenic drive until we get to the pavement such a beautiful place and uh, sucks that we have to leave spent two nights here enjoyed the view the weather the smell of meadow and the meadow flowers 
That's amazing. Well, now we're gonna be going down a dusty road till we hit pavement. Well, that's one thing about summer trails. You gotta keep your uh, air filters clean because with all this dust everywhere, they get clogged really fast. The road going out towards Highway 89 and Hannah's Pass is very smooth. This is the way that people bring their fifth wheels and uh, RVs down this way because this road is very smooth and maintained pretty well. And it's very scenic as well. I made it down to the pavement area and there's a little turnout right before we get on the pavement enough for all of us to start inflating our tires. There's another uh, Jeep pulling up. All right. All right, we got our tires inflated and we drove about two miles on the pavement until we uh, saw on the map that it says uh, waterfalls. We parked our cars and now we're hiking over to see the Waterfall. Mila's all excited to see it. Yep, I can hear the water. How far, how, how far hiking do we have to go down? OMG. Yeah. Okay, there's the top upper waterfall, so it's going this way. I, I, I want to go to the top of the waterfall if nobody's skinny dipping over there. Oh, there's a waterfall. Yep, look at that waterfall. It's three waterfalls. There's a bigger one down there. Nice. So yeah, we hiked down to the waterfall and that's uh, pretty cool. It's right off uh, Weber Mill Lake, flowing down, down towards Truckee, towards Highway 89. It's uh, accessible right off the Hannes Pass Road and it's a pretty cool spot. It's a little bit uh, sketchy way to come down, really a lot of lo loose gr uh, rock and dust, but uh, pretty cool view. This waterfall's uh, is very nice so this will conclude our video for this week we'll see you guys on the next adventure stay tuned for more awesome videos to come your way